If you want to calculate the sum of null values in Power Query, then this video is exactly what you need to know. I will show you three different ways in which you can compute the sum of null values. So beginners of Power Query bump into this all the time, and that is getting strange results when trying the sum of null values in Power Query. So I wanted to put together this video that talks about null values, starting with the basic characteristics, and at the end of this video, you will know three ways on how to sum up null values in the correct way. Guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Rikke Groot. I make Power BI tutorials, YouTube training, and just like to share content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this video and would like to see more content like this. Now enough of this talking, let's get to the computer. So to explain null values, I will break it down very simply at first. While a zero is an actual value, a null value indicates that a cell is completely empty. There's nothing there. Now, what does that mean? Let's, let, let's see some of these characteristics that one might have. Okay, so check this out. The null values have very strange behavior, and we can check that by adding a custom column. And if I compare my text amount to see whether it's smaller than 10, then you might expect if the null would be equal to zero, then it would definitely be smaller than 10. But the first thing you'll notice is that everywhere the text amount is null, the result will also be null. So it doesn't evaluate anything after you check this. Let's, let's change the check. So the next thing I could check is whether the text amount, which is sometimes null, whether it's smaller than null. And when we check then, then each of the rows that already contain null, well, the result will be null. But also if we check whether any of these numbers here are smaller than null, the result will also be null. Let's do one more check. So the following is what most people bump into that just start out with Power Query. If I have a column with numbers and I would like to add a value to it, I add the text amount and I add 10 to it, press OK. You're going to find that the columns that have a null value, if you add 10 to it, it's still null. While most people would expect it to show 10, like nothing plus 10 should be 10. And if you do this with zero, yes, it works. But with null, this is the issue. And that's what this video is about. So how can we solve these problems? The first thing that we can do is we can make sure that these null values disappear. So the first solution could be, we can first remove this column. If you would like to add 10 to the text amount, you could first replace your values and replace the null by zero. And now if you would add a new column, the custom column, you could have the text amount plus 10, and you get the exact results that you expect. So that's number one. There's another way, way number two. We can also make sure that we do some error checking and that if we have a row that adds up null, that instead of adding up null plus 10, that we just take number 10. So error checking is number two. If we add a new column, we could say if text amount is null then zero, else text amount, and then we write plus 10. Now I still have this other value here, which we can delete. So we now still have the column with the nulls, and our new formula checks first whether there is a null value, and if there is a null value, it adds it up. So that's why number two, we can delve into it. The third way is a way which you use list sum to add your values up. The list sum functionality in Power Query uh, natively handles zeros, and if, uh, or natively handles the null values. And if there's a null, it ignores it. So we could, for example, if we would make a custom formula where we'd say list sum, you open your curly brackets to start suggesting what list you want to provide. And then we write down, we want to sum the text amount and the value 10. Close the curly brackets, close the brackets. And then if you press OK, it also works. And in this case, if you would want to calculate the total sales price, including tax, we could just add within these brackets, 
that we want to multiply the unit price by the tax amount. This is the first item in the list, and then it's multi, multi, the, the sum will be taken with number 10 here. And that's exactly how you can handle no values in Power Query. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I release Power BI tutorials, YouTube videos, and just general good content. And that's it for now. See you in the next one.